Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. Advanced farming systems from Case IH helps producers be ready. AFS is less complex and built right into our equipment. And our team of dedicated specialists are here to keep you rolling. The world of farming is changing. Will you be ready? Inoculant application for soybeans is a job you can do on your farm. We'll explain the best equipment setup for inoculant in today's Iron Talk. Soybean inoculant is a common term for rhizobia bacteria. They colonize around soybean roots and bring nitrogen from the air into the plant. The trick is to apply them to the seed and get them into the soil before they perish. We've had a lot of questions so far this winter about in application of liquid inoculants versus seed applied. Also, questions have come about regarding the effectiveness of extenders which claim to allow application of inoculant up to 45 or even 60 days before planting. Here's what we found. Inoculants must be in close proximity to the main taproot of the plant to be the most effective. For this reason, seed applied treatments are the most effective. With in liquid applications, you will likely need five times as much product to equal the results of seed treatments. We've also seen much better results when applying inoculant within hours of planting. Planting seed days or weeks later after treating the seed results in bacteria mortality of up to 90%, but bridging and clumping of seed is always a concern. Best practice is to spray inoculant on at multiple points in a brush auger or potentially a belt veyer or cup system. The keys are to use multiple nozzles to get improved coverage of the seed and then to have some sort of mixing as well to coat the seed on all sides. Doing it a few hours in advance of use and running the seed through a brush auger or belt veyer after treating will greatly reduce if not eliminate clumping leading to maximum performance from the inoculant and the seed. That's all for today's Iron Talk and now back to the show.